like to thank the Veterans Administration for allowing this opportunity. I, uh, I write short stories of all different lengths, and of course I'm working on a novel that will never be finished, I'm sure. <coughs> and uh, I like uh, this is uh, fiction, not to interrupt the strain of, of uh, nonfiction and partial fiction. <laughs> And uh, I write for young women and young, young men. And this is a story, this is a page out of a diary that I guess any young woman could write. <clears throat> I call it the Dandelion Diary. <clears throat> Sunday, work tomorrow. Okay, I'm so tired of people. There isn't anything that I need people for in order to do the things that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis, not one. I get ready for the day by myself, thank you very much. I go to the end of the sidewalk and I turn right or left, my choice, no one decides for me, and whatever I do or whoever I pass as I walk is there because of my choice. If I want to stop and notice the beauty in a flower, then I will, and it will be beautiful because I decided to walk this way today. If I want to ignore it, I will, and if I want to step on it, I can. I don't need flowers, I don't need people, I don't need anything. Monday. <clears throat> and I don't need birds either. I left the house this morning and turned right at the end of the walk. It was no great decision of mine, just the direction I have to go to get to work. No sooner had I turned than a passing bird flew overhead and made a decision of his own. I had to go back into the house and change clothes. <laughs> On the way to the door, I noticed for the first time a dandelion growing in the crack between two of the slabs in the sidewalk. I stepped on it. Then I went into the house and changed out of my favorite Monday shirt. On the way back out, I grabbed a spray bottle of herbicide and took revenge on that weed. It was already flattened and pushed down into the dirt from my first attack. I sprayed the area until there was a tiny new little creek in my yard. <clears throat> Work was awful. Bird made me late. Coworkers were stupid. Boss doesn't understand people. I would love to tell him off one day. The first thing I would tell him to do is to fire Tina. I'm so sick of her attitude. She's not a good worker. She makes mistakes all the time. If he had a brain in his head, he would give Robert a promotion and move him into our office. Robert knows his stuff, and he's not bad to look at either. When I got home, I saw the weed was bent over and dying, <laughs> and I threw the shirt in the garbage. Stupid bird. <clears throat> Tuesday, what is going on with me? Does God not like me at all? I thought that today couldn't get any worse than yesterday, but boy, was I wrong. I can't even begin to describe it. But I need coffee. Be right back. <clears throat> so, guess what? Robert got a promotion today. Good news, right? Yeah, right. And guess what else? Robert was moved into our office today. More good news, right? Well, it's not. Tina likes Robert. <clears throat> and it appears that Robert likes Tina, too. I don't know how I feel or what to write. I'm going to go for a walk and then go to bed. <clears throat> P.S. Back from my walk, of course it started raining. I saw that stupid weed again. It looked like it was getting stronger again. I'll deal with that tomorrow, once and for all. Wednesday. <clears throat> Today was a lucky day, finally. First, though, I overslept. I had to hurry and I had no time to make my own breakfast. That's not the lucky part. <clears throat> Then I got outside and remembered the battle with the weed that I promised myself, but now I had no time for war. I had my own misery to attend to, so I let it live for now. <clears throat> At the end of my sidewalk, I turned to the left instead of the right, and my luck began. <clears throat> because to the left was the direction of all the delicious breakfast choices in town. The perfect direction for a hungry person that is running late. Also. The perfect direction to meet a young man, recently promoted, who is also getting some breakfast on his way to his new office. That's right, it was Robert. He saw me and said, oh, hello, I work with you now, don't I? And that was the end of my luck, though, because I then said, I don't know how you work, stopping myself before the words with Tina around came out. <clears throat> then, properly embarrassed, I got my own food and went to work. After that, though, the rest of the day wasn't so bad probably because Friday's right around the corner. Or maybe because I thought I saw Robert smile at me today. It was a suspicious sort of smile. I sensed intent of some sort. It seemed warm and sincere, though. 
P.S. I almost forgot. When I got home, I was welcomed by a twisted, dingy yellow dandelion. It was obviously struggling to survive. I stood and looked at it for a long time. <clears throat> it wasn't a long time at first. I was going to just step on it again, but after a while, it became a long time. And I can't recall really thinking about anything while I stood there. At the time, it felt more like I was listening. I stepped over it and went inside and had some coffee. Later, I took a walk, <clears throat> looked at the weed again, quicker this time, and went to bed. I woke up later on and went to the shed in my backyard, got my sprinkling can down and one tiny rice-sized piece of fertilizer out of a grain, out of a bag of lawn food. And after thoroughly rinsing the crack in the sidewalk with fresh water, I placed a piece of nitrogen in the crack near the flowering weed. So that's the lucky part. Thursday. <clears throat> I love people. <clears throat> I know, I know. If anyone else was to read this these last few days, they would laugh. But I do. Being lonely sucks. I skipped breakfast at home this morning. I felt like eating in town again for some reason. So I had a little extra time to appreciate things. <clears throat> I opened all the blinds on the east side of the house and let the sun in. It was a beautiful day. And right there in the middle of it, as bright and yellow as the sun, was my dandelion. <clears throat> turns out I love dandelions. Good assumption. <laughs> and guess what else? It turns out that I like yellow carnations too, especially the one that was on my desk when I got to work this morning. After I picked my jaw up off the floor, I read the card that was attached that said, <clears throat> It's a habit of mine to share a thought when I notice something new. So I noticed how beautiful this flower became while I stood and thought of you. Signed, Rob, this is how I work. I would have added, Eat your heart out, Tina. Robert wasn't there today, though. He was at the other plant finishing up his stuff over there. He'll be back in our office tomorrow. <clears throat> the rest of the day was a blur. Although, on the way home, I stopped at the flower store and bought a flower pot. Not for the carnation, of course. That was already resting in a beautiful vase. One the lady at the flower store remembered very well. The pot was for my dandelion, and don't ask me why. My motives are as uncertain, as pure as the, as the way I feel today. This beautiful carnation may be mine, but the dandelion is me. And I don't know if it's out of guilt or hope, but I have new plans for that weed. Friday. <clears throat> I tell you, when life goes right, it doesn't mess around. Want to hear about my day today? A little tough, and don't read my diary. <laughs> I got up, <clears throat> I got ready, I left the house. I saw no dandelion in the sidewalk. What a nice sidewalk, by the way. <clears throat> I got to the end of the walk and turned left. I don't turn right much anymore. As I walked by my house, I saw three things in the picture window. One was my cat bunches. One was a lovely carnation in a beautiful vase. And one was the prettiest dandelion I've ever seen in a practical holder. <clears throat> I had breakfast with Robert at the same place I met him two days ago. He drove me to work. I pointed out the carnation as we went by my house. I thanked him again. He noticed the dandelion that Bunches was lying next to and asked me who gave me that flower. I told him it's not a flower and that I gave it to me. I think I was at work all day. I'm pretty sure that I gave Robert my phone number. I can't wait till Monday. I should have told Robert to call me tonight. P.S. Robert just called. He said that he felt me thinking about it. I asked if he wanted to help me with the dandelion tomorrow and he said he would love to. And I said I would love to, too. <clears throat> Saturday. Today was perfect. Robert came by early. And we went to our favorite breakfast spot. Then we went to the park. The three of us, Rob, Dandy, and I, went past the playground area and through the woods. We laughed and joked the whole way. When we exited the woods, we were atop a small hill that overlooked a large meadow. The meadow was full of dandelions. Uh, it was more than fall. It was like a carpet of yellow. Standing there beneath the beautiful blue sky with white puffy clouds and next to the deep green grass and trees, all we needed was the, all we needed was the red flower pot to complete all the basic colors of the universe. And just in case that's not enough red, I will also mention the red lipstick that remained on Rob's lips after we kissed. Right there in that perfect spot in that perfect place, at that perfect time. Enough perfects? 
Then how about I mention the wonderful way it was, the marvelous smells, the heavenly sounds, the tantalizing flavor. Then I took the hand spade I brought with me, and together, Rob and I dug a little hole in the otherwise perfect soil and planted two lips. That's the name that Robert gave the dandelion. He said I had a knack for taking lonely things and showing them a new world. Yeah, right, I thought after I tried to kill them. <laughs> I'm so happy that, that there are people. But now I must put this away. Robert's here and we're going to watch a movie. It's called Kate and Leopold, <clears throat> one of the best romantic comedies ever made. And to all a good night. Sunday. Another wonderful day. Life has been much better ever since that girl moved me here to this meadow. It was so lonely there in that sidewalk crack. I've already shared my pollen with a beautiful young dandelion, and we're both now hoping for a bunch of cute little seedlings. A bird flew overhead today. Stupid bird. <laughs> <laughs>